and say, oh, save the old drunk. A drug addict as I was. I, I tried to hide it from mom and daddy. I, I tried to come in at night time. I, I'd lay there and I'd come in. Boy, my, my wife, uh, she was my, my girlfriend. We dated. We didn't just marry. Uh, somebody would just marry. Uh, but I tell you right now, uh, it's like conviction, you know. Uh, conviction, you know, keeps it coming for a little while. Uh, I'm going to tell you, you run for a little while. Uh, for sooner or later, it gets a hold of you. Uh, and I'm going to tell you, something tears you up. Uh, uh, praise God, it's like a, a, the Bible. Bible says I'm married to you. I'm gonna tell you, you know, if you get married, you, you'll do some. Uh, you'll submit to you. Why? If you submit yourself to God and resist the devil, he'll flee from you. And if he flees from you, guess what? He can't bother you. Uh, I'm gonna tell you, so we give the devil a saddle to ride on. Uh, uh, I tell him up at church, if he's gonna ride, he's gonna have to ride bareback. Uh, Oh, I tell you what my wife told me. She said, I wish you'd hurry up and preach. You're the illest hornet I've ever seen. I want to tell you something. A lot of that's brought on herself. We're ill. Let's get to the Word of God. I want to tell you it ain't about me. It's about the Word of God. The Bible says, having spoil, blotting out the... I want to get to that last of that, verse 14. Nailing it to his cross and took it out of her way. Huh? Took it out of her way, didn't he? Nailing it to the cross. Uh, I thank God he's nailed it to the cross. Uh, I'm going to tell you, a bunch of uh, uh, people down the road, they say, well, they found the nails of Jesus. Uh, I'm going to tell you something. You know what? Uh, I, it don't really matter that they found the nails of Jesus. Uh, all I know, they were still left in that cross. Uh, you say, preacher, why are they still left in that cross? I'm going to tell you why they're still left in that cross. Uh, uh, when the Roman soldiers uh, would begin to drive uh, uh, the nails uh, uh, in, the, in the hands and feet of, Je of Jesus, uh, at the end of that, when it come through the wood, uh, uh, they had clinch at. Uh, and if they did not clinch the nail, uh, it would pull back through. Uh, I'm going to tell you something they began to drive at and they clinched it. Uh, I'm going to tell you you can look it up. Uh, uh, you can study it if you want to. Uh, but they began to clinch it. Uh, and I'm going to tell you it wouldn't pull through. Uh, you say, preacher, it's hard to get a nail out. Uh, that's being clinches. I'm a builder. My daddy's a builder. I tell you what, we, I love building houses. Uh, uh, but I tell you what, you clinch a nail, you, it's impossible to get out. Uh, unless you take a Makita saw saw and you can get it out. Uh, but praise God, they didn't have a Makita saw saw back then. I, I, I tell you, I begin to clinch that. I, I, you say, preacher, why are they still left there? I'm going to tell you why. I, because the Bible says they come and got the body off of Je uh, Jesus I, and took it to the tomb. Nicodemus was one of them I, and on. I, and they took it down there and they brought it to the tomb. I, and they, I'm going to tell you, the Bible says they brought no bones I, was broken I, in his body. I, you say, preacher, no bones? That's what the scripture says. I, and he fulfilled the scriptures. I, I'm going to tell you, the scriptures don't contradict themselves. I, I, the scriptures are staying uh, when this world's on fire. Uh, I'm going to tell you something. I don't believe in this new age stuff. Uh, I don't believe in this NIV stuff. I don't believe in this uh, a new a new stuff. It's still the old 1611, uh, uh, the King James Version. Uh, I'm going to tell you if it's good enough for grandma and grandpa, uh, it's good enough for me. Uh, if it's good enough for uh, oh, my great grandmas, if it's good enough for uh, Theodore Roosevelt, it's good enough for me. Uh, if it's good enough for George Washington, it's good enough for me. They said there wasn't no bones broke in it. And you know as well as I do, and you get a big crowbar on a nail, and you begin to, and you begin to pry on that, there are going to be some bones broken that wrist. Huh? What did they do, preacher? They pulled on through. Huh? They pulled on through. And they, the nails were still there, wasn't they? You say, preacher, they take time to take the nails out? No, I believe it did. Uh, I believe they're still there. Uh, I believe they're still in that old rugged cross. Uh, as David over there, uh, the Bible says David prepared the nails uh, and the wood uh, uh, for the building of the temple. Uh, I'm going to tell you something. He began to the, 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 the wood and the, the nails. Uh, and when we began to uh, pray them, he said in Psalm, um, uh, uh, started to build the temple. Uh, I'm going to tell you something. You know what? Our Lord uh, and our God uh, prepared the wood uh, and prepared the nails uh, upon the cross of Calvary uh, uh, because I believe he prayed it many, many years uh, uh, before he knew Jesus was going to die. Uh, I believe the three very nails uh, he had set aside. Uh, I believe the cross uh, he had to set aside uh, uh, because why? Uh, because he can nail uh, our transgressions. Uh, he can nail uh, our sins uh, uh, to old rugged cross. Uh, I'm going to tell you something. You know what this old world needs uh, is a dose of Jesus. Uh, and if they get a dose of Jesus, uh, I'm not this think so. Uh, I'm going to tell you something. You know what? 
as the pastor said, not dignified stuff, uh, but the real stuff. Uh, If we get the real stuff, you'll make the devil mad. I make him mad every day I get up. Huh, you? He hates me, boy, and he hates you. I had a feller tell me, a man, a woman, she told me one time, she said, I'm going to hell and have a party. I'm going to tell you something, you go to hell, there ain't going to be no party. There won't be no parties there. There ain't going to be no bell shower there. And I'm thank God they're doing away with it this year. Huh? Hey, man, you want to give the Lord some praise for that. Why? Uh, because they're doing away with it. Uh, praise God. You know what? There's somebody over there praying uh, uh, for that, uh, uh, seeing ungodly stuff. You say, preacher, we're supposed to go down and witness to them. I'm going to tell you, it's hard to witness to somebody. It's about half lit. lit. Huh? Huh? I ain't going to listen to you. I have seen that. You say, preacher, you ain't saying, yeah, you can ask my wife. There's evidence. I went down to the open door curb, or curb market, open door kitchen. Food kitchen. How did Deacon tell me you are not go down there? I said, I went. He said, them people down there ain't fit for nothing. I said, they need Jesus. And I'm telling you what, the power of God come in that real room. The, the workers that was feeding, that was playing the, uh, the, the food, preparing the food to feed them homeless, they had to stop what they was doing. And they got out there and said, boy, we never seen that like this before. I'm telling you right now, there was a man walked in that was drunk as a skunk and I'm going to tell you something, he couldn't walk from here uh, out there to the back door without falling about three times. Uh, the power of God fell. Uh, you can ask my wife, you don't believe me, I don't care if you ask if you do believe me, uh, but I know I've seen what God can do. Uh, until he began to uh, move throughout there, I just pray, that little, little girl come up to me and said, uh, how do you know what you're talking about? I said, I just know, and you can know. Uh, to, uh, and, woo, it's something about Jesus. Jesus. Uh, hey, he said, how do you know? How, she said, how do you know? I said, I just know. I just know. And you know too. Well, she took off over there in the corner and sat there. I seen her over there. She said, how do you know all this stuff about me? I said, I don't. God does. I don't want to know nothing about you. And you don't want to know nothing about me. I tell my folks up at church, if you see me 15, 20 years ago, you wouldn't have me as your pastor. Uh, you wouldn't have me up there, but praise God, God changes things. Uh, and I'm going to tell you something, because he nailed it uh, uh, to the cross. Uh, he nailed it uh, uh, to the cross, uh, and it's still there. Uh, I tell you what, them nails are still there. Uh, they're still on the cross. Uh, I'm blotting out my handwriting uh, of ordinance. Uh, it's still there. Uh, that fellow, he come in there, and he come up, he was a bawling. His ears, I mean, his eyes and his ears and all that, it's as red as red can be. He's under conviction. He's a tremble. When's the last time you seen that? Huh? Hey, that's what's wrong with the churches today. There ain't no conviction in the house of God. Uh, we make them feel good. Boy, we give them a hamburger and a hot dog, and boy, we're all right. And the road church down the road off them a piece of pizza, and they'll, get, they'll take them on down that way. But I tell you what you bring. The Bible says, add to the church such as should be saved. Uh, I'm going to tell you something. Not with a hamburger. Uh, uh, not with a hot dog. Uh, uh, not with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Uh, uh, but with the power of God. Uh, and if we get the power of God in our churches, I'm telling you what. These walls can't hold them. Uh, I'm going to tell you something. Uh, I'm going to tell you. Uh, Fairview, Waynesville, uh, 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 Asheville uh, can't hold the power of God. Uh, I'm going to tell you something right now. We need the power of God. He began to cry. And I'll tell you what, he said, Lord, he said, preacher, I need to be saved. I said, let's hit the ground, old buddy. So I'm going to ask one old boy that went home sober. Huh? Hey, you say, preacher, he went home sober. I'm going to tell you something. We got people in our churches that's jealousy, uh, envy, uh, and strife. Uh, you can leave home. You can go home sober tonight. Uh, uh, you can go home with a new mind uh, in Christ Jesus. Uh, the Bible says have a mind which is in Christ Jesus. Uh, but you're going to have to nail it uh, to the cross. Uh, you're going to have to take it to Jesus. Uh, until all the things is contrary to us. He nailed it to the cross. Huh? Nailed it to the cross. You know what? All around the world, what they need is to take it to Jesus. And if they take it to Jesus, 
Say, preacher, it's going to be easy. I ain't going to tell you it's going to be easy. But it's going to be good. Huh? Hey, I, it was a little fellow that come with us. He was holding the door for everybody to come to. He said, the first thing come out, I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of God. I'm going to tell you something. That's a, if that's all it was, uh, I tell you what I heard. I've been listening to that fellow back there with a beard. I like your beard, buddy. I'm going to tell you something. I've been listening to him. Uh, he said, I'd rather be a toy cleaner uh, in the house of God. Uh, I'm going to tell you something right now. If I was on my hands and knees cleaning toilets, uh, it'd be all right. Uh, no, and I'm going to glory. Huh? Say, preacher, some of you looking at me like you've lost your best friend. Uh -huh. Looking like whew. I never played a piano in my life, but I believe I could hit or tune her. Uh, power of God, you know. Hey, the Bible says without his spirit, you're none of mine. The Bible says without his spirit, we're bastards and not a son. Huh? Hey, you rather be a son or a bastard? Hey, let's get blotting out the handrail, nailing it to the cross. Was he nailing to the cross? The powers of Satan. Read the next verse. Read the next verse. Read it. You know what? Satan is the most faithful person in the house of God. He comes sit down right beside the pastor every Sunday, Sunday night. And Wednesday night. Huh? Does he? Yeah. Why? Because we invite him here. And I tell you what, we don't need to bite that old bugger here. I'm going to tell you something. We need to uh, nail it to the cross uh, and say, you know what? If you're going to get here, you're going to have to come across the blood. And the devil uh, can't come across the blood. Uh, I claim the blood uh, of the precious uh, uh, Lamb of God. Uh, Huh? I tell you what, he's going to have to come across the blood, and the devil can't. He'd be a saved devil. And I tell you what, the devil ain't going to get saved. You know where he's going? He's going straight to hell where he belongs. Huh? Yeah, that's right. His days are numbered, ain't they? I'm telling you what, he's almost, his work's almost done. I, I'm going to tell you something, he's a working devil over time. I, I'm going to tell you what, he's trying to tear churches up. Uh, he's trying to keep people get, from getting saved. Uh, and if he can tear a church up, he can keep somebody from getting saved. Uh, if he can mess with the pastor, he can tear the church up. Uh, if he can mess with the deacon board, he'll tear the church up. Uh, I'm going to tell you something, the Bible says in Ephesians 6 and, and, the, and 12, uh, they say we're not fighting against flesh and blood, uh, but against principalities uh, and powers of the air. I rose over darkness in high places. I'm going to tell you something worth fighting the devil. I'm telling you right now that you can't fight him along. David said, the battle's not mine. It's the Lord's. It's the Lord's. It's the Lord's. And if you say the battle's not mine, it's the Lord's. You can be like old David. You can bring that old giant's head in here. Uh, and on Sunday morning, you can stand up for the crowd uh, and say, I've won this victory uh, because he nailed it to the cross. Uh, I'm going to tell you something, uh, a victory in Jesus. Uh, I heard an old, old story uh, how a Savior came uh, from glory. Uh, I'm going to tell you something right now. It's the old time ways. It's still the blood. Huh? Oh, praise God. There's a chauffeur. He's going to sound that one day, and I'm going out of here. Huh? And the powers of Satan ain't going to stop me. Uh, uh, praise God. I'm going out of here. Uh, and I'm twinkling. Uh, I'm an eye. Uh, praise God. I'm going out of here. Uh, I'm going out of here. There's something in there, boy. Wired up, but get fired up, ain't eh? Huh? Hey. No, it ain't nothing this war. It's down on your knees, church. If we want to see thousands of people saved in Pakistan, we want to see thousands of people saved here in Fairview or in Waynesville, it's going to start on our knees. Huh? I believe the Word of God says charity starts at home, doesn't it? Huh? Huh? You imagine if we combine this church and Holly Grove over there, I mean, and Rocky Branch over there, and I don't know if there's other churches that are represented here. If we get all of our differences, 
We get all the denomination junk out of the way. That's the devil. That's principalities of the air. We get all that out of the way. You know what we can do? We can storm the gates of hell. Praise be to God. We can storm the gates of hell. I praise well. A glory. Woo! I'm ready. Are you? Uh, Prince of bounties of the air. Uh, Roars. You ain't fighting the prince over there in England. You ain't fighting against Obama. You ain't fighting against the Congress. You're fighting against the devil. And guess what? You can't beat the devil. Huh? You say, preacher, what do you mean? You can't beat him. But I know a man who can. <laughs> hey! Oh, devil! I got to tell you, the Bible says this is written. A man should not live by bread alone, but every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. I'm ready to, I'm going to hair lip him. Huh? I hate him. So, preacher, you hate the devil? Yeah. He tries to mess me up and tangle, tuck, tongue tangle me all the time. He does. Whew. Man, you preach a man to death. Huh? I have to slow down a little bit. I believe I, I feel whew, uh, tingling sensation in it. Huh? It ain't God. Hey, you said, preacher, I don't understand what you're feeling. You can, but I'm going to tell you something right now. You're trying to fight these battles alone. You're not going to win. Nailing it to the cross. He said right here, he said, have them spoiled principalities. I believe something spoiled, it ain't no good, is it? Huh? You said, preacher, I've spoiled the devil today. No, you ain't. Jesus spoiled the devil. Have him spoiled principalities. <laughs> and what? Powers of the old devil. Huh? I'm telling you right now, you know what we need? Uh, we need to say, Lord, come down and spoil the church. You say, preacher, yeah, get the evil spirits uh, out of here. Uh, and if he gets them out of here, we can have church. Uh, Oh, my word. I, I believe I could walk on water right now. Huh? I'm telling you, you say, preacher, take a leap of faith. I believe I will. Hey, a leap of faith. Where's your faith at? Uh, mm, I'll get it tomorrow, but I'll tell you what I know a man that nailed it to the cross. Huh? He let them nail it to the cross. Usually they tied them, but the scriptures had to be fulfilled. Huh? Had to take out, oh, let's see, I got one right here. I brought me three old nails with me. I wasn't going to do this, but I got to grab them if I can find them. I usually take my necktie off, but I can't get it off all this water. There's me three old nails. Ain't rusty, but who says they was rusty? Huh? I believe that didn't have my name on it. I believe that was in his feet. Why? Because that's as low as I feel. Paul said, I'm the chief among sinners. But Paul said, I am what I am by the grace of God. I tell you, if God be for us, who can be against us? I'm telling you right now, who can be against us? This one had your name on it. Huh? Hey! Uh, oh, nailing it to the cross. I wish I had me a hammer. I would have brought me a hammer. A ball paint hammer? No, I don't know what they use. I believe he might have used a rock. But I tell you what, this one's got your name on it. Hey, because he nailed it to the cross. Uh, I'm telling you right now, oh, uh, the discouragement. Uh, what is powers of the air? It's discouragement. Uh, I'm telling you what, if the devil can get you discouraged, uh, he's got you. Uh, Huh? Fires of the air. Hey. Son, there's something in here tonight. Oh, I don't work this hard at work.
But I tell you right now, I want to see souls saved. But he said, if my people is called by my name, shall humble himself and pray. I preached that last Sunday morning. I didn't know you preachers. Pastors are going to get on it this morning or tonight. I, I get, well, see, I tell you what. It's Jesus, ain't it? What'd that Roman soldier do? Truly, this one, man, is the Son of God. The one that nailed him to the cross said, Truly, this man is the Son of God. And I tell you, he kneeled, didn't he? At the feet of Jesus. He said, Truly, this man is the Son of God. I'm telling you what, we can't get on our knees because of pride. A principality's pride. Uh, we can't get down. Uh, we need to humble ourselves. Uh, we need to find the wood pile. Uh, you need to find your closet. Uh, and you need to get in it. Uh, and if you get in it, the devil's got to flee. I was laying at home one night. I was laying there and this evil spirit come through my door. Preacher, I don't believe that. Well, I do. I was laying there, and I believe I was reading the Word of God. One night I was reading the, God, the Word of God, and about four or five shares pulled up, and I said, Lord, help. They're going to get me for reading, being in the Holy Ghost. <laughs> they was looking for my neighbor. They stopped at the wrong house. <laughs> I'm telling God Jesus come by, but one day he didn't stop at the wrong house. He's at the right house. And he was right on time. Hey, Lord, uh, if you'd only been here. Uh, he said, uh, he said, he'll rise again. He said, I know in the latter day. He said, I am the resurrection. And I am the life. Uh, I'm going to tell you, I'm glad he's the resurrected. Uh, I'm glad he can wake the dead. Uh, I'm glad he can uh, oh, he heal the lame, uh, heal the cancer, uh, heal the blindness. Uh, he can do it. I've been praying for something. And I'll get it when the Lord says it's time. And I know your pastor got it, what I heard. I've been praying for the gift of healing. He said, preacher, the Bible says to desire the gifts. I desire them. He said, preacher, I just feel good just coming, sitting in the church, and just sitting there. Well, I don't. He nailed me to the cross by principalities so I could go free. If the Son shall set you free, you shall be free, free indeed. Not halfway, not part of the way, to the uttermost. From the guttermost to the uttermost. I'm telling you right now what we need uh, is the presence of God. But I was sitting at home one night and an evil spirit came through my house. My wife was sitting on my recliner over there. It's a shame when she steals it from you. Yeah. You men, you name me and me on that. You run things around your house. Vacuum cleaner. Wash machine. Sweeper. I don't tell her lie. It's a principality. Hey. But she got my recliner. I was laying over on the big old sofa. They come in. And I tell you what, there was something come all over me. And it wasn't good. So, preacher, what was? He was a, one of Satan's principalities, powers. He said, preacher, that don't happen to Christians. Well, it happened to Judas, didn't it? Huh? Don't you tell me he wasn't a follower of Christ. Huh? Hey, yeah. God said, you take, come on, take up the cross and follow me. And he took off, didn't he? But I'm going to tell you something. There was something evil come over him. I was scared to death. Uh, but praise God. All I know to do is humble myself and pray. Uh, and say, Lord, uh, you're going to have to take this. Uh, and now I didn't have to wait the next week. Uh, I didn't have to wait uh, after three days. Uh, he took it right then. Uh, praise be to God. He'll take it right then. Uh, because I'm going to tell you something. The Bible says, when lust is conceived, it bringeth forth sin. When sin is finished, it bringeth forth death. Where does it conceive? Where does it start at? Right here. 
Where's it conceived at right here? I'm going to tell you something. David started right here. When he's up on, he should have been on the battlefield. Uh, you get in the battlefield, you don't have to worry about getting in trouble. Uh, you get on the front lines for Jesus. Uh, I'm telling you right now, you say, preacher, I can't. Yes, you can because he's nailed it uh, uh, to the cross. Uh, I'm telling you what, you get on the front lines uh, for Jesus. Uh, and I'm going to tell you something, you don't have to be worried about being on the rooftop. Looking at a uh, naked woman. Yeah. Pornography's big in the churches today. Pornography's big on the internet. And praise God, they're putting something on the internet. Uh, that's better uh, than pornography. Uh, uh, they're putting something on the internet. Uh, that's better uh, than the advertisement. Uh, I tell you what the old preacher says. Uh, I get off Facebook uh, and get in the book. Uh, and I'm going to tell you something right now. If we get off Facebook and get in the book, guess what? We're going to grow uh, and we're going to get the anointing of God. And I'll tell you right now, you'll be able to fight the old devil because he'll prepare you in the other chapter 6 of the book of Ephesians them other steps it takes huh? putting the whole armor of God on huh? you know a lot of times we come to church and we just put one here and there he's supposed to put the old, whole armor of God on I'm going to tell you something right now we need to put the whole armor of God on because the devil's going to hit you when you walk out them doors huh? yeah I'm going to get ready to say something I believe I got to say this. Huh? You're going to get out that car and you're going to get in your car. And you're going to say, that preacher, that crowd, that fruit of labor crowd, they're crazy. And if I have to worship like God, like that, I ain't going to worship him. The Bible says he's coming after true worshipers. Those who worship Him in spirit and in truth. And I tell you right now, you know what? We need the spirit and we need truth. And what is the truth? He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come to the Father but by me. I'm going to tell you something. He told the woman to well, if you're going to, if you're going to praise me, you're going to have to praise me uh, in spirit and in truth. Uh, I'm going to tell you, not no form, uh, not no fashion. Uh, I'm going to tell you something, not in this. Uh, I think I am. Uh, the Bible says they say with their mouth, mouth their heart, for, uh, they love me, but their heart is far from me. Uh, they make the outer side clean, uh, but the inner side is full of grievous, uh, uh, full of filth. Uh, I'm going to tell you something. What we got in the house of God is filth. Filth. It, the prophet said, Yons are filthy. This preacher's filthy. Be honest with yourself. We're filthy. Huh? You say, preacher, that ain't scripture. The Bible says, All of sin and come short of the glory of God. The most righteous are filthy rags in the eyes of God. I praise God. I'm the germ. I said, The Lord is our righteousness. I'm telling you, I'm glad. He nailed it to the cross. So all he sees is the blood. All he sees the blood. He said, When I pass over you, if the blood was not upon the doorpost or upon the Lentils uh, above the door. He said, I'll, death angel will smite you. But he said, if it's there, I'll pass over you. Praise God, one day the blood was cried at Holly Grove Free Will Baptist Church. Uh, they sing a song. I looked at the back door. I couldn't go. I looked at the front. I couldn't go. But praise God, something picked me up and took me there. And nailed it to the cross. Now, I'm gonna tell you something. You know what? Uh, if we got full, you know what we need to do. Uh, all of our heartaches and troubles and trials. What we need to do? We need to nail it uh, uh, to the cross. Uh, I'm gonna tell you something. We need to bring it and put it under the blood of Jesus. Uh, and I'm gonna tell you something. A lot of times uh, uh, we bring it up here uh, and we walk out the back door just like we come in. Uh, I believe you're gonna bring it to Jesus. You're gonna leave it there and trust in Him enough to take care of it. Uh, because you know what? He said He uh, put them to open shame. Uh, I'm gonna tell you He triumphed over them. Uh, and I'm gonna tell you something. Uh, my God has triumphed it over Satan and his demons. The Bible says